Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to take a look at pigeon stretch on the reformer. Okay, stretching out the hips is really important for athletes, right? There's lots of different ways to do it. We're going to look at it on the reformer today. So what I'll do, I have the spring pretty light, just one red spring because we want good glide, like whatever you would normally use for a mermaid. And this is for a client who has fairly good flexibility, right? So they're going to come on to the reformer. You can go onto one knee and thread this leg through and onto the headrest, okay? Now, the hip that we're stretching, of course, is my front left leg. Now, if someone has trouble with their knee, if that hurts their knee, you could prop this leg up with a posture pillow or something. They'd be underneath to get a little bit of height or even just a little smart spine, like one of the little wedges, putting underneath there with a the little heat could be really nice. So you're gonna cue, and people will have different sides. This is my tight side, so that's gonna look kinda tight. But I'm gonna reach this leg back a lot, and I'm gonna try to roll my hip forward. So you could put the little smart spine wedges underneath the hip, underneath the knee, anywhere the client really needs support. For most people, it's gonna be underneath the hip. So I put my hands here, and I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. And then it's like sort of like a down stretch on the reformer. You just press back. I get a little more stretch as I go down. And as I come up, it releases a little bit. So dynamic stretching is really, really nice for the body. Just sort of moving back and forth, going into the stretch and coming out of it. Right? I like to have my heel tucked kind of close to my body because then it doesn't stress my knee out at all. Sometimes if you have your foot Nine, your leg 90 degrees, it can be too stressful on the knee. So we have a nice little extra bonus move, transition move to get to the other side. So to transition to the other side, I'm just gonna flip around. I'm gonna turn this way, and then I have my Achilles resting on the headrest, and here I can get a really nice shoulder stretch. So you wanna cue your, cue your client to sit up really tall, and then simply tuck their tail, and they're totally in charge of this stretch. They can go as far as they want to or as little as they want to. They feel the stretch right in the front of the shoulder. And that's a really nice opening. You can turn the hands facing in and you get a little different placement. It's a little deeper, a little more, a little tricky. But coming up, they can totally decide how far they want to go on that. And you just spot them to make sure they don't um, go too far. But either way, and then to come to the other side, you'd simply flip around. So I'll turn my back to you, and you'll see I'm set up again, ready to go on the other side. Reaching my leg long. This is where I'd put one of those little smart spine sacral wedges right underneath my hip, because a lot of people will have trouble getting this hip fully down. I can do it on this side, but it's um, most people, a little heat there will be lovely, and then they just go back and forth again. And you have a nice, little stretch. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered on an upcoming episode, comment below on our forum, Twitter, or Facebook. See you next time and never stop learning.